so my story begins when I was younger. I was um, raised in a Catholic church, and then once we stopped going, it kind of just, we stopped going, I stopped learning, you forget. I was so young. Growing up with my parents split was very hard. I didn't really realize that it had such an impact on me, my parents being split, until I was older. And I was so frustrated, and my friends' parents were married, and it was always like, oh, my dad this, oh, my dad that, or my mom did this, and it was like, I didn't have those moments together. There was a lot of moments where I was just so frustrated, and I would yell. I remember just yelling, like, in my head or in the car when I was driving. I would just yell, and just out of frustration, and ask him why. Like, why do I have to go through this? Um, went through a bad relationship. Again, it was like, why does this have to happen to me? Everything was always about me. I was selfish. I went just immediately to partying and just other guys. I was so down. And to go to those parties and have these guys all, you know, want everything to do with you, it just made me feel better as a person. And it made me forget about, it was just like, it was a distraction for me. It took me away from my problems. I kind of got out of that stage, took probably six months, and then I was finally back to reality, working and just living for me. And then a friend introduced me and Adam. We exchanged numbers. Adam is just so selfless. And I've never met someone like that, like me not being a Christ follower. I was so selfish. And to see someone selfless was just so different to me. And I was like, I want to be like that. Adam put God first, and that was something I was not doing because I was not a Christ follower and Adam told me from the beginning like our relationship needs to be around God 